Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading for all signs. It's collective reading and any sign that you may be thinking of. Please use this reading to manifest a love that you are worthy and deserving of or to confirm a love that has come into your life. Welcome back, everybody. So grateful that you're here. Let's see what Spirit has for you today. Let's see what's going on around you. Spirit, please guide me. What is it that you need us to know? Let's see what we have. I have changing it up. Okay. Changing it up. Changing up your energy. Doing different things. Adding new things to your life. A um, little bit of a trying new thing. Stepping out of my box. Um, intensifying chemistry. Somebody has chemistry. You guys know how much I love chemistry. I also like, you know, that first instant attraction to somebody. I always think that that's really important that, you know, it doesn't mean you have to fall in love with them at first sight, but you definitely are attracted to them. That is important. And let's see what else we have. Stirring the pot of drama. Is somebody in your life, um, are you struggling with them in some way? Uh, do you need to remove them from your life? Are they constantly in your energy? So it prevents you from moving on. You could even have great chemistry with that person, but it doesn't mean that you're supposed to be with that person. Let's see what else they're saying. I have an unbreakable bond. We want to be with somebody that wants to be with us. And sometimes we have, you know, the pot stirrer is going to be the person who I want to be in your life, but okay, with all these kind of rules around what's going to work for them. And, and if you're in agreement with what's going to work with them, then you can be in their life somehow. Um, they're not doing you a favor, let's put it that way, because there's somebody out there that wants this unbreakable bond. I think that's more important. Sensual, sexual tension, chemistry and sexual tension. Okay, so definitely attracted to this person. And let's get one more of these. Highs and lows in the cycles of love. So some of you could be going through that right now. You're trying to remove somebody from your life that really isn't working. And maybe at the same time, you are open to meeting somebody new. So you could be just a little bit of a one foot in, one foot out energy. Let's see what the cards are saying. Welcome back, everybody. So grateful. If you're new to my channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. The like buttons really help um, with the algorithms and the channels. So hit that like button if you can. Let's see what I have. I have a five of pentacles. Six of swords. There's the moving on. The sun. Look at it. It's like moving on to the new beginning. <laughs> it's like a no brainer. There you go. And I have a page of wands that... There's my chemistry, there's the spark, there's the, the person. So sometimes we have to ask ourselves when we're in the state of things aren't going the way we should, it should be going, is it time to move on with the hope and the understanding that spirit has something better for you? And that's a really difficult place to be. And all of us have probably been in that place one at one point or another or multiple times. But you have to trust your own intuition with what's best for my future self, what's best for my higher self and my well-being right now. And I do feel like spirits letting you know that we have a new beginning and this new beginning is is going to have this have chemistry and be attracted to this person as well. But it's going to have more loyalty and it's going to have somebody who wants to be in this connection. So the kind the person who is um, kind of holding you, hold, trying to hold on to you with nothing to offer. Here's my three of swords. So time to move on, time to move on, even if it causes a heartbreak. Sometimes even when you want it, it hurts. Even if you're the one that decided to end it, it still hurts. I think separating yourself from anybody, it's always painful, especially if you have 
you know, real feelings for them and you spent a lot of time with them. It's always painful to move on. A seven of wands, standing up for what you believe, fighting for what you believe. And right now it could be just as simple as I'm fighting for my own future. I'm fighting for respect, Spirit just said. Maybe you feel like you deserve more respect. Maybe you feel that I deserve to have uh, more of an innocent love. Then there's all this drama going around it, that there's more kindness and there's more caring involved. So you have you set the rules, Spirit just said. You set the boundaries. I have an eight of wands, fast moving, a rapid change is about to take place. So that is coming into me pretty clearly. So let's look at this for a second, because this is really why we're here. We want that new beginning and we want to manifest that new beginning. Spirit just said, believe in yourself. Yes, I want you to believe in spirit, but they want you to believe in yourself, that there's something better for you, that there's something out there that is going to come into you quickly and is going to open you up to a new beginning. Look at look for sunflowers, the number 19. Look for sunflowers. Maybe that's maybe that's the sign you just are seeing sunflowers or you just bought sunflowers uh, at the grocery store and you just put them on your kitchen table and you can't believe I just said that. OK, so let's see what else spirit has for you today. Let's see if we can get into some feelings. Walking away is hard is how I feel. So for those of you that are walking away or just walked away, I get it. It hurts. But they do want you to know that there's something beautiful on the other side. I want to message you, but I'm scared you might reject me. So whoever you're walking away from uh, is probably thinking that they'd like to talk to you still, but maybe you're the one that ended it and you don't really want to open that door again. I'm focusing on myself right now. That could be you. You were the best thing that's ever happened to me. Now you want somebody that comes into your life and appreciates you, enjoys you, sees you as the best thing. I'm sorry I lied to you. I'll put this over here with this ending for now. Walking away from you made me realize how much I love you. So you could have somebody that just keeps trying to convince you that they sh you should keep and stay in their life. But I just feel like that one foot in, one foot out always. And I just feel like you're never going to feel really secure with that particular person where spirit's offering you something on the other side. And I think that you have to take that into consideration that even though it's scary to take a leap of faith, sometimes you could be saving yourself and you could be opening yourself up to really the best thing that's ever happened to you. I wish I would have treated you better. So somebody who didn't treat you the way that you should have been treated. I can't, I can feel that magnetic pull towards you. Ooh, I like that. I want the person who there's high chemistry and we're drawn to each other. And let's get one more of these. I know I've let you down. So, I definitely am picking up on a past energy today that won't let you go. Doesn't mean that you're taking this person back. Doesn't mean that you want this person back. So it's, it's spirit's way of sharing with you that sometimes we have to kind of hold our ground and say, I made a decision and I'm sticking with my decision. Let's see what else they have to say. It's always been you from the start. So there's that past trying to come through. I can't keep running away from this. So for those of you that are thinking about somebody, I got to tell you, they're trying their best to salvage the relationship. And maybe you don't love them anymore. Maybe you've fallen out of love and you miss being with somebody that you're really in love with. Maybe I can change for you. Yeah, there's a lot of energy here of I'm trying to salvage this relationship. And I do feel like it's over, but they're not accepting it. Will I ever be worthy of you? So I feel like you've walked away. You walked away for a reason. And 
you could have strings attached to them somehow, whether it's children or, or something like that. But I don't feel like you're in love with them anymore. And I feel like you are looking for new love. And I feel like spirits letting you know that there is new love out there and that you are worthy and deserving of a new love. So that I want you to, I guess, just be open to. Let's see what spirit is saying. I know a lot of you are single already. You might have already gone through this, but I've got to just go with what the messages are saying every day. So somebody needs to hear that it's okay to move on. It's okay. You're going to be okay. There's another side. I have a passage. Look at you. Look at you crossing that bridge. You're going to cross that bridge and you're going to get to the other side. You're going to be fine. And you're going to be with somebody that you really want to be with. You're a work in progress. I love that. <laughs> you're a work in progress. You're not there yet. I have a secret admirer. Is there a secret admirer coming into your life? This person could have feelings for you already. Okay, I'll take this. I've got a secret admirer with fireworks. <laughs> so Spirit just said today's the day. It's almost like any day now or any time now. Um, today's the day. Today's the day that changes the rest of your life. You know, when you make the decision to move on. So I, I really I, thank you for the firework spirit. I, I needed I needed that uplift, I guess. I needed to know that I'm going to be OK. I needed to hear that everything's going to work out for the best. So sometimes we just need to hear it. Spirit, please share with me. What is going on with this new connection? Whoa. Okay. I'm going to go with all these jumpers over here. I get a bunch of jumpers. Let, let's just take these. There's about five of them, which is perfect. I have a 10 of pentacles, page of swords, king of swords, knight of cups, eight of cups in reverse, six of pentacles, and a page of pentacles in reverse. So the things that jump out at me is the ten of pentacles, this knight of cups. Let's start there. Because that is telling me that I've got this romantic energy coming into me. Maybe less drama, maybe less um, crazy in your life. Somebody who has more to offer, maybe somebody who's more grounded. It's also coming into me as somebody who um, is in tune with their emotions and isn't wanting one thing one day and one thing another. So I feel like it's a better match for you. I feel like it's more give and take. This person is trying to spend some time with you is how it's coming into me. They're trying to talk to you and they're trying to invest time with you. So if you are pushing them away for a reason because you're not quite ready, then let them know. It's not that you're not interested in them, but maybe you do need more time. But let them know you're interested in them because they could be the best thing that's ever happened to you. They do want to talk and they do want to put some energy into you. So let this person um, in and start the conversation. Doesn't mean you're going to spend the rest of your life with this person. If it, if it is the best thing that's ever happened to you, you'll know. But don't push them away because you feel that it's just not the right time. Because it's always about God's timing, not yours. So sometimes it's not a perfect time that you meet somebody, but it's the right person. So I want you to think about that for a moment. You're beautiful, exactly the way you are. So they see you as for who you are. I love this feeling of inside and out. I love this. I also like this feeling of this person isn't going to give up on you. Like they're really trying to be in your energy. They really want to spend some time with you. I'm in this for the long haul. So let's always make time for sweet moments. I will sign up for the long haul and I will sign up for sweet, kind, caring. I will sign up for that. Where do I sign? 
uh, fly away with me. I want to take you away. I want I want to take you into my world. I want you to meet my friends and my family. And I want you to trust me, Spirit just said. Your heart is safe with me. So this could be something that you're really struggling with, that you're having a hard time departing from that past. You're having a hard time moving forward. And you're just worried that if you give your heart to somebody else that you're going to be hurt again, which I think all of us go through. But Spirit's saying, trust me, trust me. They're going to put somebody in front of you that, that you really want to be with. Put it that way. Our love is so natural and pure. I want to write and easy. <laughs> I want to add, and it, I don't have to work so hard, okay? That there's something about this connection that I don't have to work as hard as I used to in the other connection, that it was always something. This connection, I feel like it, there's a very flowy river and it just moves in the right direction all the time. So I'm, I'm going to go with that energy. Your vibe matches my vibe. We're on the same page. We have the same energy. We enjoy the same things. All of those things are really important. I know that there is something special about you. So the person who comes into your life and they, they see you who, for who you are, they see you as special, and they're going out of their way to spend some time with you. I would definitely give this person a chance. So we're going to put this out into the universe. One foot in, one foot out. It's time to decide. And for those of you that are in that situation, if you've already decided, that's okay. And look forward to what's on the other side because it, because it is a beautiful love and it's and it's a more committed love. So we will definitely claim this today. I want to thank Spirit for these messages. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you always for your kind words and your comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.